On the 1st of July 1916, 100,000 British troops left their trenches in the Somme. By the end of that first day, 20,000 of them would be dead, 60,000 would be badly wounded. It would be, in fact, the biggest military disaster in British history. Who was to blame? Well, many people believe that this man, Field Marshal Sir Douglas Haig, was in fact responsible. So, let's have a look and see. If we go back to February 1916, uh, the French had come under a really heavy attack by, from the Germans, and by June, 700,000 of them were dead at a place called Verdun. In order to relieve Verdun, the British came up with a, a cunning plan. They would attack the Germans at the Somme, causing them to relieve um, Verdun by taking their, their troops away. So the British would gather together an army of 150,000. They would gather together 1.5 million shells and they would bombard the Germans, okay, aiming to kill them all at the Somme. They'd destroy the land, destroy the Germans. They'd uh, put the barbed wire that was in no man's land would be uh, completely destroyed. And they would check that this was all in, in place because they would send um, planes across no man's land uh, to check that the Germans were in fact all dead. And a short time just before the attack, they set off mines underneath the Germans to send them into disarray. And the British would simply walk across no man's land. It would be a walk in the park. Unfortunately, things didn't go according to plan. The uh, shells that the British were using, uh, many of them were faulty and didn't in fact explode. Um, some of them didn't explode because the um, uh, fuses had been set incorrectly because lots of the gunners were in fact uh, inexperienced. Those shells that did explode, um, they merely threw the barbed wire up into the air and it came down in more of a tangle than it was before, leaving just narrow gaps for the British soldiers to work their way through. And of course this made it even easier for the German machine gunners. And of course, what about those German machine gunners? Well, of course, they're not dead, are they? When the um, British had fired at them, these huge shells, they retreated down into these deep bunkers, some 50 feet below ground and reinforced with concrete. And as soon as the, um, the shelling stopped, the machine gunners came up into their positions and as the British walked towards them, they simply mowed them down. And of course on that first day, we get these 60,000 casualties. So was this all Haig's fault? Well, uh, not guilty, some people would say. They would argue that he was forced to fight at the Somme when in fact he felt that they should be fighting a battle somewhere in Belgium. His army was very inexperienced. Um, people would say that wasn't Haig's fault. Uh, the faulty weapons, you can hardly blame Haig for that. Um, the fact that the, the planes were meant to check that uh, the German defences had been destroyed, well, it was really too cloudy. You couldn't blame Haig for that. And planes and tanks, they were only being used for the first time at this battle. And therefore, again, how could you blame Haig uh, for the, um, the sort of problems that they had with these new weapons? Well, others, of course, say, no, Haig is guilty. Um, he continued... Um, with this attack, despite not knowing whether the German defences had in fact been destroyed. Um, and he continued sending thousands of his men over the top um, to their certain deaths. In fact, he himself said that it was inevitable, a large loss of life. And indeed it was, because Haig would be responsible for 620,000 casualties by the end of this battle in November 1916. Even the government, members of the government, ended up criticising Hay. Lord Lansdowne, on a visit to the front line, said, how many more men would they send? Would it be until all of our young people were in fact dead? So, there you have it, the Battle of the Somme. Hay, guilty or not guilty? You decide. Uh, was Hay 
the victim of circumstance or as one British private put it, was he just a bloody murderer? <laughs>